मंत्री निर्मला सीतारमण हाल में प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर Then in May again, there was another set of fine imposed by Reserve Bank because of non-compliance related matters, and a former deputy governor of RBI was appointed onto the board of Yes Bank as a director. In June 19, again another set of fines were levied, saying, "No, it is not happening. You don't seem to be having a good compliance culture. Here we go, another fine." a chief financial officer was also newly appointed and it was only in september 19 that you had a complete giving away of the shares i mean st stake was completely sold of the earlier promoter all this while there was also this promise being given saying we are getting more money from here we are getting new equity here somebody coming from hong kong is giving us money and uh, very genuinely genuinely attempts were made to get new equity infusion done into the bank genuinely a lot of attempts were made but nothing materialized period after period the rbi was also informing us that they've given them more time so that they can get fresh equity fresh infusion of cash so that the bank's health can be restored and every time you had to give them the space and margin because after all if there is a genuine attempt being done let them get it but it didn't happen at all as a result it went on like that and once in november 19 it was very clear that no longer there was hope for them to get any more money and coincidentally the chairman of the audit committee also resigned early january 2020 things came to a serious pass and that is when i think we intensely engaged as we were continuing the engagement a lot of uh, other you know ideas with which we were talking with the rbi was talking with the management i have asked the rbi now actually to go into assessing what actually has caused these difficulties for the yes bank i have asked him to find out and assess as to where the problem the cause set to problem lies and also clearly identify the role played by various individuals in the problem in creating the problem and not so comprehensively addressing the problem and i've also asked the rbi to tell me about adequacy of the extent regulatory norms also the supervisory norms and if found inadequate where and why i have asked them for a report on this and i've also asked the rbi to act so that the due process of law takes it close with a sense of urgency whilst the whilst the government our government is completely committed to ensure that the depositors interest is completely safeguarded equally i want the rbi to ensure that due process of law is set to roll with a sense of urgency so that we should find out as to who led to this problem a, a problem of this size and magnitude in the s bank the steps of course which are taken by rbi as it is are several i'll just narrate yesterday on their request we've given the clearance for bringing a moratorium on to the bank which is for the next 30 days 